What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Haroon. You asked for it and I'm bringing it to you. More real estate related videos. I'm kidding. No one asked. I have like 15 subscribers, <laughs> but I like doing real estate, remember? So I'm gonna bring you guys more videos like these. So, all right, I'm currently standing on a porch, front porch of a property that I just purchased in Richmond, Virginia, right? We bought this house for $205,000. Uh, it needs about $100,000 worth of work to bring it up to standards and we're gonna sell it. We got our appraised at half a million dollars. So that's, that leaves, leaves us at about a $200,000 equity, right? So we're hoping on, on making that. Uh, my goal is to make this into a series, show you guys what it takes to buy a house like this and make it look beautiful, make it look modern, make it look into a newer home, right? So yeah, let's walk around. Let me give you guys the tour. You're probably not gonna see it because it looks really scary inside. Today's demolition day. Episode one is demolition, which means that we just go and just break things, break the walls, break whatever we don't need, and then trash it all out to make the workers start the job. Where are you, you ready to go inside? All right, guys, so as you can tell, uh, again, today is demolition day, right? So this place looks like a mess. I have to be careful and not walk on any nails. There's a bunch of nails sticking out and I don't wanna get anything stuck in my foot. So I'm gonna be careful, watch my steps. Marie says you should as well. Uh, but yeah, demolition day, literally everything is scrapped out. Uh, a bunch of the walls are, you know, off. Um, this place looks very scary. It's a complete gut project, right? But the idea is that, you know, as soon as you walk in, right, you have the living space. Uh, very lit. I like the fact that we have a lot of windows. We're actually going to add a window there as well, um, you know, just to give uh, a lot of uh, sun exposure and just get that natural lighting in the area and the house in the living space. Um, and then we have the fireplace. So the traditionally, you know, when you walk into a living space, you have the fireplace right in front of you, right? But I like the idea of this fireplace because you have it kind of like outside of, you know, where it traditionally is. And we're going to keep that there. You know, I like the idea of having here, but we're going to obviously make it look modern, uh, clean it up, make it look nice. Bear with us guys in the, you know, upcoming episodes, we're going to show you guys exactly what we plan to do with the space and, you know, show you what the finished product hopefully uh, at the end looks like. So we got the extended living space here. Um, to your left, we're going to extend. Marisa, can you catch this? It's going to be difficult because there's so much stuff here. This is all gonna break down. Uh, we're gonna add that extension. Um, this is gonna be the kitchen area, right? This is gonna be about half a million dollar property and we wanna you know, make sure that there's a lot of quality um, you know, with, the pro with the appliances and things that we use um, and ensuring that you know, it actually is you know, worth for the buyer to be paying half a million dollars for this. So kitchen's gonna be extended out. Um, right behind you, Marie says, let me see if I can open this door. Probably not, right, it's blocked off. But in that area, there's th this is gonna be, so this whole wall, right? We're gonna add a, uh, a double door, maybe a barn style door. And then this is gonna be the sunroom, right? So, uh, you know, whoever buys this property, then they can use that for, you know, just a space to relax, chill out. You're gonna get a lot of sun exposure. So that's the idea with that. All right. And then to the right of the sunroom, we're planning on adding a bathroom, but we got time to think about that. Okay. Down there is the scary basement. I'm not gonna go there, down there because I do not want to die tonight. Um, so Mauricio's, let's just skip on that. We're gonna go upstairs. All right, let's finally make our way upstairs. We got three floors, right? Um, second floor, this is where we're gonna have our master bedroom um, and then the other two bedrooms. So this is gonna be a, Mauricio's three bedroom, four bedrooms? Yeah, it's about four bedrooms. Four bedrooms, four, four bedrooms bath. and four full bathrooms, right? So again, try to like get the idea of what I'm talking about. So, all right, let's start here. So to your left um, is gonna be a bedroom and I'll show, I'll show all that you can just, you can just, yeah, to your left is gonna be a bedroom. To the right of that is gonna be bedroom number two. And this is gonna be our, you know, bathroom is gonna be a full bath with a bathtub, toilet, whatever. We need for a full bathroom. This right here, we are going to turn into a master bedroom, right? So we got two options. So you see this brick wall right here? So in renovations like these, right, you wanna keep a lot of the structure of the house. So we can't change the structure. What we can do is we have a lot of free will with you know what we wanna do with the design, but things like these we can't move. You know, we have to build and design around that, right? So we have two options. Option number one, there's a room behind this wall. We can either break that wall besides this beam or that, that structure and make this into a big living space, AKA master bedroom, 
or option number two, when we're deciding on this, we can, we can actually break, break this area right here and then make this whole thing a master bedroom and then build the master bathroom that way with the master, master closet as well. So those are two options that we have. Uh, we're gonna make a decision on that. <laughs> Look at me stepping on nails. Please don't go through my feet. Jeez, I gotta be careful. So if we make this into a living space, right, this whole thing is gonna be the master bedroom. We're gonna have to initially, we, you know, like we, we wanted to have the bathroom, uh, the full bathroom here, but we might change it and, and take a, you know, uh, move it over there. So again, that's the decision, decision we're gonna make. And then what we're gonna do here, Mauricio, let's get this. Let's move this door. <clears throat> This um, is literally gonna be a walkout door. Um, so, you know, if you live here, you're just gonna walk out and hopefully just the, the wood is supposed to catch you guys. Um, and then, you know, it's gonna be just a nice, nice little mellow fall, right? <laughs> but yeah, I don't know why they have a door here. I don't know who designed this house. Might've, just a card, I guess. Might, might've, been, might've been a deck area in there. So yeah, we're gonna use that for maybe a window what have you. All right, we're done with the space. Let's go ahead and move our way up to the third floor, AKA the attic or the den. All right, guys, this is the den area. So remember I told you guys that we're gonna combine, there's two rooms downstairs into one room, right? Just because we're taking that room, I guess, and combining into one, two into one. We want to make this kind of like a den area or slash an area for kids. If you have kids, you know, you can bring this and like maybe add a crib, whatever here as a child room. Or, you know, if you don't have kids, you can make this a game room, right? Pool table, ping pong table, make it into a movie theater, whatever you want to do. There's gonna be the den area, den space. I like that. Again, natural lighting. We have nice windows here. Um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna, you know, obviously add newer windows, extend that, make it bigger a little bit. Um, on the other side, all right guys, check this out. Look at these nails. <laughs> this could have gone yeah, inside of my foot. Do not go inside of my foot. All right, <clears throat> this is gonna be the next room in the den area. So again, you know, a plan could be to open this up a little bit, make it into a very big area, big den, or we can just close this off, make this into a little, you know, quote unquote room, um, or a bathroom slash closet. Again, that's gonna be something that we're gonna have to figure out. Uh, we do have an architect and designer coming in to give us ideas on this, um, you know, so uh, in the next few episodes, we're gonna give you guys a more direct and detailed update on what we decided to do. But yeah, this is done area. Um, I think I think we're good to go. It's a short video, not, not really too much going on. So let's go ahead and uh, do the outro. Let's go back downstairs. All right, guys, and that concludes the video for today. Again, very short, very cool little video. Today was demolition day, which means that we demolish things on the inside of the house. The next step is to clean all that debris out, right? So we're gonna take all that garbage out of the house to give space for the contractors, the workers to do the work. Um, we need permits, right? Building permits that allow us to do the work inside, electrical, plumbing, all kinds of permits that we need to be able to finish the project. Again, I want to make this a series, so stay tuned for the next video. Um, I want to, you know, take this from the start until completion of the project. So that way, you know, you guys kind of get a vlog and like a series of what it takes to take a house like this that's so distressed, so old, and make it look new, modern, and you know, it's an idea that we have. So stay tuned, and as always, Show love and subscribe to the channel. See you guys in the next one. Peace.